So 2010 Honda Rancher 420 4x4 electric shift. I'm going to uh, replace the air intake filter to do so. Remove the seat. Under the seat, this big black box is the air intake box. Kind of to pop these clasps. There's four of them. The lid comes off, and there's the air filter. To remove it, it's very simple. Get a Phillips head screwdriver and loosen this screw, and this is a clamp that holds it on. So doing this will actually loosen the clamp, and it will uh, allow you to pull the filter off uh, towards the rear. All right, I loosened uh, the clamp, so now we can just pull back, and it'll pop off. And there you go. So the filter sits on a metal canister. I don't know the official term for it, but this is what... Uh, is actually attached to the throat of the throttle body and that's right there at the intake so let's remove this from the old filter and then we'll get the new one all right here is the old filter and this is why i'm replacing it i already knew it was split it's just an old filter i've used it for many years uh, this is the canister that comes out of it and now we're just going to take the canister and put it into the new one uh, same filter just uh, uh, brand new right out of the package so we're going to put the canister in, and uh, it's already pre-oiled. This is how it came, so I don't have to add oil to it, but uh, it is ready to go. So we'll put the canister in, and then put the clamp back on the uh, outer portion of the, of the uh, filter. All right, so the canister's in, and I put the clamp on the outer ring of the filter. Now we're ready to put it back on. The throttle body so same as we did before we're going to put the metal canister into the th throat here of the there it goes just pops on and once it's on push it forward make sure it's snug have that clamp in a spot where you can get the uh, Phillips head screwdriver to it and go ahead and tighten it down so I'm gonna get the screwdriver and tighten it All right, the clamp is tightened down now we can get the lid to the uh, air filter box it's good just to inspect it make sure there's no cracks in it and there's no uh, nothing that's gonna keep the seal from being uh, somewhat good and it only goes on one way plus it gives you a little bit of a clue it says front right there so that goes towards the front of the ATV which is that way so put it on and re clasp all four clasps and that is it reinstall the seat the seat itself just slides on like that and latches and that is replacing the air intake filter so these filters, normally you can uh, clean them up after you remove it. Uh, you don't have to replace it. This one I had to because I already knew it was old and it was split. And uh, I went ahead and ordered one ahead of time. But had I wanted to reuse this one, if it was still good, it's a very easy thing to do to clean them. You can buy just any filter cleaner uh, from O'Reilly's, AutoZone, any auto parts store will carry it. And then you need some foam filter oil. So the first thing you would do is spray down the entire uh, filter with a filter cleaner and let it soak in for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so. And then have a bucket of water ready to go and literally just dump or dunk this in the bucket of water and, and just wash the heck out of it. Rinse it, squeeze it like you would a sponge. And this filter cleaner should get rid of all the oil, all the dirt, and everything. It should come out looking very clean. Uh, then you would let it set overnight, 24 hours, or just 12 hours even. Let it completely dry. Once it's completely dry, then you would take your filter oil. And you would, usually what I do is I just put some in a dish. And then using a rubber glove, I would just spread it across the entire filter. And then you want to work it in and knead it in and and just kind of like when you're putting soap on a on a sponge you want to work the soap in through the entire sponge for it to be effective so same principle and once you have oil back on 
then you would go and reinstall like we did with the brand new one. So I hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching.